Don't drink diet soda, it makes you fat. Drink regular soda. What's up, guys? Welcome back for another episode of your mother's favorite show. Oh, my. What the fitness? Let's get them. All right, we have Taylor Duke's wellness on. A new challenger appears. Let's see what she has to say about diet soda. It may surprise you to hear this, but if you're going to drink a soda, don't drink the diet. You may be skipping the calories, but literally you're going to be drinking tons of chemicals. Oh, so. chemical. How, okay, so she's a nurse practitioner. I, I, I know what nurse practitioners have to do. Like, they actually have to take science. You took basic chemistry, right? You know that everything is a chemical. In an organic banana, there's lots of chemicals. Just tossing around the word chemical, like this phone, filled with chemicals. The air, filled with chemicals. Your face, filled with chemicals. Your brain, no chemicals, apparently devoid of any cells whatsoever. Hey, okay, let's go back. You want Coke? Get a regular Coke, don't get a diet Coke. And honestly, the best thing you could do is get a Mexican Coke. It's in a glass can. I'm not saying that Coke is healthy, but if you're gonna do soda, don't choose the diet. Our body knows how to handle sugar. It doesn't know how to handle and process chemicals. Our body knows how to handle sugar. It does not handle processed chemicals. Um, actually, it's uh, very clear what happens to these when they break down. Most of them, uh, some of them like sucralose, mostly just pass through your GI and you excrete them in your stool. Aspartame does get absorbed. It gets broken down into phenylalanine, aspartate, and <gasps> Uh, by the way, you get a ton more methanol in like a glass of tomato juice. So it is well, well, orders of magnitude, orders of magnitude lower than what you would need to cause any kind of negative response. She's basically like, your body doesn't know how to handle it. Like, I feel like there should be like, oh, man, the chemicals, man. Yeah, your body doesn't know how to handle them, man. It's gonna make you fat, bro. If your body doesn't know how to handle it, it can't send it to adipose tissue, what the f is it gonna do with it? If only we had human randomized control trials where they have people either drink sugar-sweetened beverages or diet soda and look at what happens to body fat. Oh, hang on, we have tons now. People lose significantly more body weight the drinking diet soda compared to regular soda. Not only that, when they compare it to water, they actually lose more weight drinking diet soda than drinking water. Holy So either diet soda is the best fat burner known to man, or people are just more satiated because it's satisfying that sweet craving, which is what happens. They eat less. If you lose weight, your, mark, your health markers improve. If you're going to pick between sugar-sweetened beverages and non-nutritive sweetened beverages, the data is exceedingly clear that you are much better off choosing the non-nutritive sweetened beverage. And messaging like this, fear-mongering like this, here's what happens. People doing this shit think, oh, I'm helping people. <laughs> I'm helping people because they're gonna choose water and they're not gonna choose these nasty chemicals. No, you numbskull. What happens is they go, well, uh, nothing I do seems to matter, so I'm just gonna have as much regular soda as I want because I don't wanna have chemicals, so I'm gonna have regular soda. And they stay sicker. You're f***ing harming people. You are not evidence-based, and I do not know how you passed your nurse practitioner's exam, and you should have your license revoked. Thank you very much. Goodbye. 